Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. It's the Hebrew Life. I'm based Jerusalem, and I'm back with another lesson. This is part two of the Stephen Stephens Is It a Hoax or Not video. Now, ever since I did this video, I've been getting a lot of backlash. A lot of people are saying, you know, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And, you know, it's a shame that old man can't rest. And, you know, just giving a lot of backlash and, and a lot of disbelief. And the points I pointed out in the first video. I pointed out a few points on uh, some social uh, network platforms that was real uh, good. And I wanted to point them out in the second video because I had some things on my mind that still didn't uh, set right with me with the Steven um, Stephens case. It's just like, it's, it's like one of the most unfinished cases in history. Now, the first thing I want to start with is this man is 64 years old. I mean, 74 years old, excuse me. And he's walking alone up the street. Now, I got, I, I, I had a granddad. I'm pretty sure any everybody out there got a granddad or some elderly person they care dearly for. What is this person doing? 74 years old, nine children, 14 grandchildren, walking up the street by himself. And then, if it wasn't blood in his bag, it looked like it was some cans or some. So I heard stories of him picking up cans. Why is this man picking up cans? If he is a 74 year old accomplished man in the neighborhood, why didn't the media talk about this 74 year old man retiring from somewhere around there, him being a great role model around there, him doing great things around there in his 74 years of living? We didn't hear these type of things. All you got is an old man walking up the street by himself on Easter Sunday, which never should be happening when you got nine kids. And 14 grandkids. Somebody got to have a car. Granddad shouldn't be walking. And he almost 80 years old. That right there just don't sit right with me in this case. I mean, I, 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 I understand. we don't let, allow that in our communities. We don't allow too many older people to walk around by themselves. Especially if it's cars and stuff around. And younger people can get them a ride and look after them. The second thing that I had a problem with that I noticed with this Stephen Stephens case. And... And they and a lot of people was not liking this, but the truth is the truth. The truth don't care about your feelings. The truth don't care about feelings because a lot don't care about feelings either. See, they didn't care about lying to you when they set this whole thing up. These people were paid actors. Gonna prove that. Now, when this brother turned around in the video, he did a counterclockwise circle, and then when the camera turned back around. The crime scene was there. It was blood on the ground. Old man was laid out. Now, if you now, I want everybody who watching this video. When you done watching the video, go back and look. When this brother turns around, when he first walks up to the uh to the elder, the old man, and asks him, "Do you know Joy Lane?" He was all the way up on the old man. He was he was damn near chest to chest with him. Now, when he pulls out the gun and he shoots. And he turns around in a circle. Look where the ground is. If you pay attention to where the ground is, you're going to see that he's approximately five feet, almost 10 feet back further than where he was when he pulled the trigger. That cannot happen in a half of a second. In the tenth of a second, and you spinning around in a circle, that you could spin around five, 10 feet away from the crime scene where you just pulled the trigger at. This is impossible physics. This lets you know that this video was edited. Point blank period. Whenever you get time, don't look at the guns going off and all that. Look at the location of where he fired the pistol and the location he was when he turned back around to, uh, to catch the crime scene of the man laying on the ground. I, I, and I guarantee you, you're going to notice something. Now, another thing. This brother is riding around from state to state on the highway or wherever he was, and nobody noticed him. Now, meanwhile, we can't go nowhere without getting toll booths or tickets in the mail for running past toll booths or tickets in the mail for running stoplights. But And they got and these stoplights and these got cameras and things on them these days. You telling me none of these uh, toll booths, none of these cameras on the stoplights 
of none of these cameras on the highway caught this man's car. He's in a white Ford Fusion. This is another reason why I believe this is a complete hoax. There's no way no cameras picked them up from Cleveland, Ohio, all the way to Erie, Philly, Pennsylvania. It's impossible. He's riding on the coastline of the Erie Lake and nobody catches him? Don't I can't believe it. Another thing. Where are the 13 bodies that this brother say he killed? He say he killed 13 people. But we only got one body. There's no family who came out and says where our child is missing. There's nothing. The news didn't clear it up. They said we haven't found the bodies. We can't clarify the bodies. But they don't want to tell you, hey, there's no families. There's no uh, notes of any 13 families saying they're missing any family members. That would be main headline news. That would be the next news after this story. Did he kill 13 people or not? Because if this man lying about killing 13 people, he probably lying about the whole thing. He already looked like he was a liar. Every black person grew up with people who liars and lames in the hood. And he like one of them lame type of dudes who wanted some power. And they offered him an acting role. He, wa he always wanted to be that actor. And this is his big acting role. The old man was probably thinking, hey. Like I said, he didn't retire. I don't hear about this old man retiring from no job. So he don't have any money coming in. I didn't hear about him. He retired from there. He retired from that. So if they offer this man some money at the end of his life to do some little small acting job and his family be secure, you think this man not going to take it? He already celebrating Easter. He don't know nothing about the Elohim. So he going to do whatever he got to do to feed his family. Now, another thing, the daughter, when, she, when the daughter was on the news channel, now, the, now these daughters were so fake. I already felt the funny that all the daughters had short haircut like men. None of the, both of the daughters, all the daughters got short haircut like men. Then, like I said, the, the guy who they had hugging on the support, they didn't even tell you whether this is what what whether this was his wife. This man was holding on to this man saying, Yeah, he was just a good person. I don't mean to be saying that, just to be saying it. Who are you? Who is the woman you holding? The media hasn't identified who these people are. Then when these people walk out the camera view, the camera doesn't follow them. It's like they set it up already and they just walked out the camera view. This is, man, this, this is like child's play. Seriously, come on, man. This woman is, now one of his daughters, now they know they daddy probably going on a vacation. They going on a vacation too. They father the problem, isn't there? He's on a vacation. Now this woman has slipped up and said vacation. Now, the whole time she talking, her brothers and sisters not saying that. But the moment she slip up and say vacation, they trying to correct her. They trying to pick up on her feet because she's stumbling. Because these people are paid actors. These people are people who never got acting deals. Never got that Hollywood deal they want. Man, they call these people up or they offer these people a deal. That's why they put out the movies like The Box. Like you want some, the devil going to provide in his life. He did it with your shoe on the mountaintop. He offered them all kind of things, but Yeshua didn't accept. But in this lifetime, dealing with the flesh, the devil knows the flesh is weak, and he's going to get some people to accept what he's offering. Now, let's go to 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, because I want to read something. Because I want people to get an understanding. Because Hashatan is out here working. And he got his minions out here, and they, and they fooling people. Now this is, it it was pretty good. I, I must say that it was a pretty good video. But once you once you break it down like a pro, you notice the errors. See, one thing about lying, you gonna get caught up eventually. You gonna get caught up eventually. Now let's go to Second Corinthians chapter two verse eleven, and I'm gonna read. Let's sing should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices this is a device of satan and we not the a device of saint is lying using the media to lie to the masses that ain't nothing but a device of hashatan and he's using it he's using it these people these people want to push their agendas on the masses and that's what they're doing all they need is a little bit of inconvenience a little bit of panic amongst the people 
and it's over with. They're sheeple. All you need is a few sheep to run that way, and all of the sheep are running that way. This is ridiculous. I mean, I've never seen a hoax so, in, um, so unput together. Now, let me look. Let me think. Let me think. Yeah, it just now it just blows me that they never said what was, uh, what this man was walking up the street for. That kind of stuck with me because you know, I, I I got a special place. I, I think everybody got a special place in their heart for children and old and older elder people. Now, what is uh, now where where were you? Sisters and all y'all family at when y'all father was walking up the street by himself that man being 74 years old should never be walking down the street by himself whether he's sane or not whether he's senile or not he needs authority around him he's almost 100 years old if you care about your father you should care about your father then because my father ain't gonna be walking up the street almost 80 years old by himself so it's an odd thing in itself it's an odd thing in itself this brother getting his eyebrows arched this brother could be preparing to be a woman they could have told this brother hey look when you're done we finna change your face you're gonna, you gonna get a sex change you're gonna be a woman you're gonna be a bruce jenner when you walk up out of here you ain't gotta worry about nobody looking for steve stevenson you ain't gotta worry about nobody looking for um what's his name goodwin yeah because he probably somewhere on a resort sipping some martinis and good with some uh and the, uh steve Stevens. he probably somewhere living the life of a woman so you know man it's just a lot of points with this thing it's is is more videos coming out proving this case wrong it ain't even been a full week and this case has already been blown out the water the, whoever's uh, putting y'all hopes together for uh these crises and all y'all need to fire them. Seriously, they on some drugs or something. They ain't, they ain't. They, y'all need to fire them. Horrible. Now I thought I knew the movies was getting horrible. I'm a '90s baby. The movies was kind of okay in the '90s. Now I knew the movies was watered down these days, but I never think y'all lives get watered down too. See, y'all getting y'all getting old with y'all lives. See, the devil, that old serpent, his lives are getting old, especially to the saints of the Most High. We see it a mile away, brother. This is child's play. And y'all fooling these people, using their emotions and their sentimental emotions about an elderly person getting shot against them. Man, come on, man. That ain't nothing but the devil. That's how he coming. That's how he coming. I guarantee you that. I'm based in Jerusalem. This is the Hebrew life. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.